What's up, YouTube? Today is July 10th, and it's my birthday. Um, I told you guys in a previous video I am going into the city for my birthday today. I will be staying the night, and tomorrow I want to visit the murals um, for Junior. I also want to go to the bodega, and I want to walk from the bodega to the hospital. Um, me and my husband are going to do that. Um, it's clearly just a block, but I want to show you guys um, how close that, you know, how close he actually was to the hospital. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. I want to address some things, okay? We are still no closer to anything. We know we they have 11 people in jail. Um, again, now there's other people saying that it wasn't the sex tape the sex tape was made a year ago and it was posted recently had nothing to do with that tape um junior some people are saying he hung out with some kids that were gang affiliated um some people say uh he witnessed a shooting or he was at the scene of a shooting i don't know about all of that all I can tell you, everything that I have heard from everyone, people in the community, not just his mother, because there are some parents that like to think their kids are angels. I never was that type of mother. I knew what my kids would do and wouldn't do, and I wouldn't put nothing past them, okay? I don't think his mother, his sister, and everybody in the community who spoke of him, how good of a kid he was. You understand what I'm saying? I don't think his mother let him out of her, you know, in the streets and stuff like that. And I don't think he was running the streets. So I'm not buying that he was gang affiliated. Some people say that he had just started hanging out with these new friends recently. Is that possible? Yes. Listen, anything is possible, okay? But I'm just not buying it. I am not buying it, okay? So, you know, people are leaving that in the comments. A couple people left that in the comments that, you know, it was gang affiliated and all this other stuff. And Junior was a part of a gang. I'm not buying that. I do not believe that. Um, I think this was a good kid, okay? Now, what was he doing behind St. Barnabas Hospital? Okay, that's a good point, all right? Uh, he told his mother he was going downstairs to give somebody $5. Because that was my initial question in my mind, that maybe if he just would have did what he said, went downstairs, gave the money, went back upstairs, what was he doing in the bodega? But he ran into the bodega. So what was he doing by St. Barnabas Hospital? Could he have lied to his mother and went a little bit further? Of course. Listen, I'm not saying that he was an angel. I don't know him, but I do not think he was in a gang. I do not think he was in the streets. From his pictures, from videos I've seen of him, he seemed like he was, you know, very much loved by his family, very family oriented, very happy kid. Even with videos of him and his friends, he was just being, being a kid, being young. I do not see him in a gang. I'm sorry. I do not see him wanting to turn to a gang to be cool. I do not see him uh, associating with those type of people. He wanted to be a police officer. He wanted to be a detective since he was a little boy. He was looking for a job so he could help his mom out. I just see him being a very family-oriented young man and on the straight and narrow. Now, did he probably curse? I'm not, you know, listen, I'm not saying he was an angel now, okay? Did he probably, you know, lie to his mother occasionally? We all have, okay? And our kids do it to us too, all right? But I just do not believe this new spin. I don't know if it's to protect that girl. I don't know what. How come we never heard about this sex tape before? How come it automatically comes out? How come members of the Trinitarios gang uh, messaged the family on Facebook, said, sorry, we thought he was somebody else, okay? I'm just not buying this new spin, and I'm sorry, and the story is not really in the news anymore, but I did hear this thing, guys. Um, a community leader in the Bronx, they're talking about making the bodega into a youth center, Okay? Um, that would be a good thing. All right. I told you guys about Junior's Law saying that any business owner, you have to render aid. If a kid needs help, you have to keep the kid safe. Okay. Um, so that's some good things that are coming out from this. Um, I really don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm just not feeling the new spin. I'm not feeling... Uh, 
I'm not feeling the new stuff, okay? I just, I'm not buying it, okay? So I will let you guys know when I go to the, um, the murals tomorrow, I will show you guys. Um, from what I've seen, um, they still have the candles out. People are still lighting the candles. There was a vigil for him last week and his mother was there. I hope I see her. I would love to give her a hug and tell her I don't know you, but, you know, you're in my prayers. You're in my thoughts. You know what I mean? Um, and that's about it, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you heard anything else, but I'm not buying that uh, Junior uh, was in a gang. I'm sorry. I'm just not buying it, okay?